All right, we are back with round three of the tournament. Round one, round two have been uh, good games for us. <laughs> round two was a little bit of a, uh, <laughs> a nail biter, but we survived it. So it's time to move on to round three against Lamuro. And Lamuro's kind of had a hot streak. So let's see if uh, we can take him down a pack. <laughs> I'm just joking. He's a great player and a great guy. So or girl, I don't don't know exactly, but I'm assuming doesn't matter <laughs> so looking at this team i'm seeing tailwind i'm seeing spore it looks like an all-around great team it looks like it has a trick room a trick room mode with marowak too so i'm excited to see how this one plays out um i believe that if he gets tailwind off he probably outspeeds with kyogre so what we're gonna do is we are going to put out indeed <laughs> Indeedy Rillaboom. They're the same speed. I should have made one faster. That's like a 50-50 first turn. <laughs> oh well. Um, if he does put out Kyogre, then what I can do is I can clean up. Okay. I'm trying to think what to do. I think my plan is to do in DD Urshifu with Rillaboom, and then in the back, I kind of like Colossal. It's risky though. You know what? Yeah, no, I like that. I feel like here would have been a, bring, a good time to bring Fake out. Yeah, Kyogre? Yep. Okay. We definitely get off. Hmm. You know what? I think it's actually better to attack into Kyogre because then we weaken his damage output for the following turn. We're going to do Helping Hand. Oh, Protect doesn't work against Urshifu. If he confuses me, so help you. Ah. <laughs> okay, water spout, water spout will work now. We're going to switch to Rillaboom. And we are going to, well, we can't expanding force. What we can do is we can use detect and expanding force. I think we go down. Oh my gosh. Wow. I forgot we did big damage to him. Big. <laughs> I liked, <laughs> I liked how he protected in front of Urshifu. I thought that was funny. Okay. So he has tailwind. He will outspeed us. Um, I'm going to switch our Urshifu out to Cole, and the play here is to just go for a follow me to get no damage onto, you know, I really don't like that rocket man sitting around. So maybe we hard switch into Cole with Urshifu and then indeed he just uses expanding force to try and take out rocket man. Okay. Thunder. That's pretty good damage. In the rain, I think we probably KO our uh, <laughs> Colossal. So that's a problem. He named the Amoongus after R2. That's hilarious. Okay. I th I'm i going for the double protect here. I don't think it's the right call, but I'm going for it. It's not a double protect, but I'm protecting with both. If, he, if he's going to Dynamax, it would be that turn. Yeah. So that's why it's not a good call. Max Quake. Oh, it kills us through it, and his special D goes up. Okay, we're gonna, we're sitting kind of weird here. Okay, it's gonna come down to Rillaboom, Dynamax versus Among Us, Among Us, the, the surging strikes. He outspeeds us this turn anyway. You know what though? We can close combat into into Dialga, and then we'll just do follow me. Doesn't feel right, but it is right. That did not a lot. Okay, weakness policy. That's good to know for next game. Energy ball. Okay. Tailwind's over at least, so <laughs> there's a pro. 
I don't think we have high horse high horsepower on this Rillaboom. No, we don't. So that was a big uh oh. Um, what we can do <laughs> is cry. Uh, <laughs> I guess we just go for max darkness into that. We can't even protect. Yeah, I think that we go down this turn. Steel spike. That did a lot. He outspeeds us too. Oh my gosh, that damage is so bad. Clear smog. He was like, in case you do have weakness policy. All right. Uh, so big learning round. <laughs> Max strike might have been better. I don't think it either is good. We probably couldn't even beat Amoongus in the one v one. All right. The download is complete. We're going. We're gonna do better next round. <laughs> that was GG's. I'll message him in the next one. GG singular. We're it's not two GGs yet. All right. I did like that play of his though. Um. <laughs> Let's see. You know he doesn't have a way to stop terrain, so I feel like Rillaboom probably is the call here. All right, we're going to do Rillaboom and alongside Rillaboom will be Zashian. No. Um, next to Rillaboom will just be Urshifu. And then we'll have Cole in the back and we will clean up with Zacian. Okay, same lead. Alright, here's what we do. We do Grassy Glide. And then we do Surging Strikes into Rocket Man. I think Urshifu goes down if he does Air Slide. Great call. I should have anticipated that, but oh well. We live it. Does it get the KO? It do. It do get the KO. Dialgus here. We saw. We don't. <laughs> we don't like Dialga. And I feel like what we do is we saw that as weakness policy. We might even just use Surging Strikes into to, uh, Incineroar so we can't do any self proc shenanigans. Shenanigans. Shenanery. Okay, I kind of anticipated that he's going to Thunder now. Yeah. The tech would have really netted us something nice there, but live and learn. Um, And we get, gave up the ability to set Cole, which is a big problem. So what we're going to do is we are going to... We're going to play rough into this one, and we're also going to Vocalith into that spot. I feel like he switches, and I feel like he switches to Kyogre. Yes. Is it worth it, though? If he has Max Quake, we'll be in trouble. Okay. He Max Quaked, but not to the spot I thought he would. The nice thing is our Zacian does have Protect. Hmm. So I think we just do a double Protect here. Or do we sacrifice... Kind of okay sacrificing Rillaboom. Boom, boom, boom. I'll do a max guard. Why not? Okay. Okay. If you want to get small on me, Jaws, that's totally okay. Okay, we definitely outspeed the Incineroar. Hmm. 
thing is, I don't really think we can net anything worse at either of them. Uh, we'll just say knock it off on... I think we just fake out the Incineroar. And then... The question is, I think that we don't survive a Max Quake from the Dialga, but I'm not sure. <sighs> Only one way to find out. <laughs> no, we don't. Okay. I feel like this is where I bait them with the... <laughs> Knock off onto him. And then I feel like they don't think my Zacian has Protect. This is, this is the bait turn. Let's see if it pays off. If he attacks into Rillaboom, we'll be in a really bad spot. Okay, let's see. Flash Cannon, that pays off. Knocked off the item. Double. Nice. That's really nice. Vokalith does the damage. I think that we might be able to close this one out. Alright. <laughs> it's going to be close. We're going to have to U-turn here. Does the Dial Gap protect? Thunder, Quake, Clash. Uh, he has Dragon. He's Assault Vest. So, yes, he does. Not you No, know, he doesn't have Protect. So, we do play rough and we hope that it does not miss. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's still going to be... Oh, the Pinchberry. I think he wins either way. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But you know what? We did our best. <laughs> we should have knocked him off. I was... <laughs> Flare Blitz KOs us. Yeah. GG's. I need to work on my team building. But you know what? It still was close on that second round. GG's to Lamoro.